I'm Eli Zerza for the SE channel. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and share as much as you can. Please take your vitamin C, vitamin D, and your zinc tablets, especially a good time, you know, to boost your immune system. It's going around. And um, take some tonic water. Um, I drink about a quarter of a bottle of a liter uh, every single day. It's got quanin. I'm still pro hydroxychloroquine. For the past four months, I've been saying this. Two of my friends have. Uh, their lives have been saved actually because of that. So uh, because of the hydroxychloroquine, and uh, God knows what to believe in the media anymore. But anyways, happy birthday, America! Happy birthday! I know 1776. It's not a perfect history, but it's a it's it's a beautiful country. Uh, we learned a lot. I know they're breaking. They want to break down monuments and so on. And uh, uh, what a big mistake! Because we'll never learn from history. This is what ISIS does. This is what the Marxists do. This is what the fascists and Nazis do. They break down and they tear down history. So we don't know what's going on. I mean, uh, I don't know who we're, we're creating right now, but a lot of zombies out there don't even know their history. Um, okay, well, happy birthday, America. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Enjoy, you know. So a little, uh, it's a good, it, you know, it's, I want to do a good video, uh, a happy video concerning Rasmussen Report. That uh, most, uh, most, the majority of the voters, about three quarters, three out of uh, four, or uh, let me say seven out of ten, or seven and a half out of ten, uh, support Mount Rushmore. Uh, did about a thousand, uh, I think it was online, and the latest Ramson Report National Telephone on the online survey finds that 75% of uh, US likely voters uh, uh, do not want to change. Uh, nothing concerning the uh, ra uh, the uh, Mount Rushmore, um, which is bad news for the Democrats because they they think they just can tear down anybody. The only thing about this uh, about the survey is that uh, what was it? Uh, this compares to ninety percent who oppose closing or changing Mount Rushmore. Uh, that was a Rasmussen report um, that it was asked three years ago. So it was ninety percent. Now it's seventy five percent. Similarly, 7 out of 10 or 71% still oppose removing the names of the early president like Washington or Jefferson's, uh, you know, actually had slaves and, you know, owned slaves uh, from public places and taking down statues in the honor, 18% uh, in favor uh, of removal. Um, however, this compares to 88% and 70% in 2017. So more and more of the young people, especially, you know, 40 and under are being, uh, I would say brainwashed and this Marxist and Leninist and, and socialist of mind that they're having, especially in universities. Uh, that's where that's coming from, by the way. Uh, it's, it's mostly all these white, uh, white privilege, uh, uh, kids that are coming out of university. I don't know what they're learning over there, but definitely not history. Okay. And as everybody's saying, you got to learn from history. You know, I mean, <laughs> look how many uh, Jewish people out there. You know, they they lost. Uh, you know, and in, 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 you know during the Nazi time, the Holocaust. And, uh, but we learned. You learn. You learn from from the history. Uh, how, how else are you going to learn? And that's what the Marxists do. They destroy history. They destroy monuments. ISIS does that. They destroy. It's like they they blow it up. Um, they don't want to know nothing and you'll come out saying hey well you know what's my history next thing you know they're gonna start burning books that's what it is you're gonna start hiding books most uh, notable change of the both questions among the uh, under 40 one third of the younger voters are ready to close the cha uh, yeah uh, yeah the under 40 uh, to close or change Mount Rushmore 33% um, so a third of the young people uh, you know want to want to close the rush Mount Rushmore why who knows um, it's 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 crazy it's crazy what's going on but that's the reality the reality is is that uh, we've been you know there's there's a Marxist socialist uh, you know like Antifa you know been taken over some of the cities uh, very dangerous uh, very, I, I, I've been saying this for the past two years that Antifa is one of the most dangerous groups, and obviously they're backed by the globalists, probably in Europe, um, and who knows? Maybe my opinion, maybe by the Chinese. I don't know. Uh, don't have the proof, but I'll look into that. Uh, I'll look into that uh, with some of these groups 
some of these far far left groups i'm sure there's a there's uh, they're backed by some huge you know group out there uh coming from obviously socialist or marxist uh, ideology out there to destroy like the trojan horse um the united states it's too bad you know it's a great country um and uh, like i said a voting democrat look i know you liberals out there i mean there are a lot of great liberals out there I, I i talk to them they're very smart they're intelligent but some of you guys like 10 percent, are totally brainwashed and doing all the noise and okay anyways what can i tell you what can i tell you but bad news for the democrats that uh, most americans including democrats uh, the majority of americans don't uh, don't want to have any any changes to the Mount Rushmore, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington. Um, okay, hold on a minute. Here's another story. Colin Kaepernick, the Mentis Day message, we reject your celebration of white supremacy. <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, Nike's behind it, obviously. And who's behind Nike? China. So China pushing Nike and Nike pushing this guy. This is where all this is coming from. So obviously, uh, you know, um, Mr. Kaepernick, the United States will, will live for a long time. And we reject you, actually. Okay. You're not the greatest baseball pl uh, football player ever. Um, and we all know that you're backed by Nike and Nike's backed by China. So... I mean, we all know you're a Marxist. Let me see what happened here. The truck. Oh, boy. Look at this. Look at these zombies. Look at this. You see any mega hats? Has anybody seen any mega hats there? Look at this. It's just... This is socialist leftist. Socialist leftist. These are the ones who are voting Democrats. Look, I'm not kidding. Here it is. Oh, Another story, just a quick one. A surprising new study found that the controversial um, uh, anti uh, antimarial drug hydroxychloroquine helped COVID uh, uh, patients. This is coming from CNN. I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, survive uh, better, survive patients in the hospital. I've been saying this for the past four months. CNN actually today. You take a look at it. Look at their tweet. Uh, actually, they actually admit that the study finds it helped the coronavirus patients survive better, and. The drug is only about a dollar, dollar and a half. So if you want to treat like 300 million American, uh, it may cost 300 million instead of like uh, uh, Remdentisphere, I think it's called. Uh, I mean, it's, it might be costing what over $2,000 uh, uh, a pill, so or a drug or whatever it is. Uh, it's only a dollar, dollar and a half. That's that's how much it is, and it does help. I told you uh, it helped two of my friends. Hydroxychloroquine. Um, so CNN now admitting, okay, black leader slam in the police to funding. See, I told you, these are just white liberals and I'm sick and tired of having white liberals telling me what to do or telling everybody what to do. Um, you know, they, they, they're the conscious, you know, they're the conscious, um, What's going on in Minneapolis is, yeah, there's a lot of people out there who are scared. Uh, there's there's not that, you know, if they're defunding the police. Uh, who's going to go around? Is it Antifa, the community? Is it uh, who 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 will be going around uh, doing the community policing now? Um, yeah, here it is. Black leader slam Minneapolis police defunding. I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, here's another great story. Here is another great story. Uh, CNN praised Mount Rushmore when Obama visited attacks when Trump visited. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. That's that looks like Obama. Okay, so CNN attacks Donald Trump, but Obama? No, of course not. Uh, Rushmore, uh, Mr. America. Anyways. Nike pulls Washington runs to F. Yeah, here we go. Nike. Who supports Nike? China. Yeah. So it just says everything. Uh, okay, hydroxychloroquine. Yes, I've been saying this. Hydro, you know, happy birthday. Um, 
if we all start wearing masks that say Trump 2020, how long before experts say we no longer need to wear masks? So start wearing masks Trump 2020. You'll see how fast CNN stops. Like, oh no, we don't need masks anymore. Dr. Fauci will probably go, no, 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 you don't need masks anymore. Uh, well, well, we'll see about this story. This story, I've, I've been talking about this for, for a long time, man. This is, uh, I hope, well, well, I hope they keep her alive. That's all I have to say. I hope they keep her alive. Um, actor Bob Schneider, California voters uh, would vote for a bull of shit <laughs> if it had an if it had a D next to it. Yeah, they'll vote for anybody who's a Democrat. Um, Trump uh, rails about the far left racism. Uh, fascism, sorry. Uh, it is, it is, it is. It's very dangerous what's going on uh, in the States. These are some of the stuff. I, I think I just wanted to end um, being a student of history. Um, if you are a, you know, if you're black and, and if you're watching this, I, I want you to understand uh, that the 14th Amendment giving full citizenship to free the slaves. Okay, I want to end with this, okay? Uh, passed in 1868 with 94% of Republican support and zero Democrat support in Congress. Because at that time, the Democrats were affiliated with the uh, Ku Klux Klan at that time. Uh, they were pro, actually, slaves. The 15th Amendment giving freed slaves the right to vote. Passed in 1870 with 100% Republican support and 0% Democrat support in Congress. Okay, so I want you to understand this, because the Democrat, you, the, especially the African Americans and the, and the blacks, at, at, what, at one time you were uh, you were conservative, you were Republican at that time. What happened? God knows, but you, the history is you. Go back to your roots. The, 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 like Donald Trump says, you know, give us a chance. Go back. Understand the Fourteenth Amendment and the Fifteenth Amendment. Uh, that CNN or CNBC will never talk about, okay? Giving full citizen to, to free the slaves at that time. Many people died a civil war, okay? But look, 94% Republican support, zero Democrat voted for this, okay? And the 15th Amendment, same thing. Take care, God bless. My name is Samuel Izerza for the SE Channel. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday. Stay safe. Uh, God bless and... And like I saw, and like I said, don't get negative. Okay, be positive. I, trust me on this. Be positive. Okay, uh, it's all going to be well uh, on November fourth. Take care. God bless.